Hello and welcome back to another video and today I actually have a very different video for you guys. I feel like everything I've been making recently has been different, but I'm going to be showing you guys how to completely for free, yes you heard me right, for free, zero dollars, zero cents, zero anything, you're not touching your wallet for this, change the background on Dueling Book for free. So as you can see, Dueling Book has had this really boring and ugly like circuit board type background for the past, like since its release. Even Dueling Network had a really ugly background. And I'm going to be showing you guys how to switch it to whatever you want for free. Um, be sure to comment down below if you guys like your new switch of Dueling Book. And of course, be sure to smash the subscribe button because at the same time, I will keep on spinning out epic videos like these for you guys. And we are going to start doing videos with face cameras at 500 subscribers. Um, comment down below what you guys want for more videos and stuff like that because I'm always looking for requests and stuff like that because I like making stuff that you guys want to watch and that's the most important that you guys have fun. So be sure to smash the like button, join my Discord server, talk to me over there, I'll be sure to say hi back and let's get right into the video. So first off, as you can see, this is a really ugly background. So what you're going to do is actually, if you go into Google, right, and you look up something called the Chrome Web Store, yeah, the Chrome Web Store and click on it, you'll go to a page like this. And over here, just go to search extensions and then you write codify and press enter. Over here, you will it will appear something like this called codify the code adder. Just uh, click it and over here will say add to Chrome. You press it and then it will give you like a pop-up, agree to it, and it will show up right over here if you can see that, that's codify. Um, I already have it, that's right, saying remove from Chrome for me, but yeah. So what that basically does is it adds code to any page possible. And I'll be providing the code that you guys need to add in the description and in the comment section. So be sure to check over there. What we need to do is like go to an image that you want. For example, I over here created a banner for myself. Like I really like Killua from Hunter uh, Hunter Hunter. I put in my logo, right? We put in Core, Infinity, Spartacan, you know, I put up a pretty nice banner for myself, I think. And this is what I'm going to be using for today's video. You are gonna you are gonna click open original and that's when this will come up a completely different page and as you can see you can see your whole image but most importantly there is a link over here so you're just gonna copy the link and then put it into the line of code so as I said I'm gonna provide the code and this is what it's gonna look like after but what you're supposed to do is right over here on the very first line in between the two things that I forgot what they're called and a question mark, you're just gonna paste your link like that. You see, and then it's gonna look exactly like that. And over here, just don't touch anything else. This is perfect and you're gonna make sure that you're copying the whole thing. You see like all of it. And yeah, so in between the quotation marks and the question mark, in between those two, that's where you're gonna put it. And then you're just gonna copy that and then go directly to Dueling Book. After you're on Dueling Book, you can see still the very boring background. You're gonna click on the Codify thing. Now it will show up with something like this. So you're gonna press the Add Code section and it's gonna see your code. So over here, you just paste the code that I gave you and it should look something like this and it will show like the link and everything, right? And then you just press assign. Oh, and make sure that it says if page URL contains match, not if page URL contains uh, equals match. And then, yeah, just assign code to page. Now the code is assigned to Dueling Book. So all we have to do is just to reload and magic happens. Check this out. It's going to blow your mind completely if Dueling Book ever decides to load that is. It's actually really, really cool. And if Dueling Book decides to move, you guys will see that I have an epic new background on my Dueling Book account. And remember, I'm gonna be putting it down below. And as you can see over here, see my background appeared successfully. Obviously, everything is coming up as normal. And we have Badoom Dueling Book. We have the thing that I want, we press Duel. You can see everything is connecting. Main menu, everything is the same. You can see all, all over here, uh, Deck Constructor, you go to the Deck Constructor, it's still in the background. And even if you're playing a game, it's all going to look the same, just with a much cooler background. I remember when I first did this, it looked so vibrant and different. I just loved it. And you can see it doesn't conflict with anything at all. And you, like even this a random goat deck I have, I don't know why that's on default right now. But yeah, as you can see, this does work. And all you guys need to do is just grab the image you want, grab the link, grab the line of code, put it in. And any image you guys want that's like Try and make it the proper sizing, 
would look really, really good. As you can tell, I'm very satisfied with this. And once again, just go to Codify. If you guys need help, just shoot me a message on Discord and I'll be glad to help you. Or comment down below. That's probably a lot better. And I can reply to you guys a lot faster. And that is basically it for today's video. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you did, be sure to smash the like button. Comment down below what you guys think of your new dueling book upgrade. And once again, by the way, as you can see, if you guys ever want to remove it, you just go to manage code and click the X over here. And this isn't one of the things that you have to constantly input. You can reload the page and it will still be there every single time, no matter what. Even if you shut down the whole computer, turn it back on again, it will still be there. And yeah, that is basically it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to smash the like button and comment down below what you guys think of your new upgrade. And of course, face camera videos at 500 subscribers. And I will catch you guys in the next one. All right, guys.